primary emphasis, urban in nature. And as a result of that, education and employment being very important. Are there, are there any other unique issues that you see that you may pursue and, and may come up in this session? Well, what I'm looking at, one thing I've been working on from day one, uh, I think the last representative legislative lunch we had uh, when I first got elected, what is dear to me, and I think this one thing affects everybody, not just the urban, but it affects them more. But I think when it comes down to financial awareness and financial education, that's where we have really dropped the ball throughout the United States. If we have people that don't know and haven't learned how to balance their checkbooks, they can't balance the budget for the whole United States. So therefore, if young people, and I think we need to do this at a younger age, even middle school, we need to get the financial education back in the schools. We used to have personal finance years ago. You learned all the basics. We need to almost make that a mandatory situation throughout our schools, especially in Georgia and throughout the country. They have some economic classes now, uh, I know at Valdosta High School, where they're bringing some of the basics back in. But when we look at the whole urban issue in our community, you have a lot of financial companies, and I, mean, I hate if anybody worked for any, the ones that you pawn your title and do all those things, and you, know, you have people that have just a little bit of money anyway, and you go and borrow that money, and you got to pay a big amount back. If people don't understand what they are really doing, you're going to always be broke if you don't have financial education and financial awareness. There may be people in this room right now that have great jobs, making six figures, but some of them even is a struggle to know how to budget your money if no one ever just sit you down and show you the basics of finances, understanding interest, understanding how to distribute your money, how to have a budget, period. And I'm thankful that state of Georgia, we understand it has to be a balanced budget. But in people homes, guess what? When you're not balancing your budgets, you're taking it more out of your credit, and as you take more credit out, and those rates go up, and that interest that wasn't in your budget is now in your budget, and it's, it just continues, and it continues, and it snowballs effect. And guess what? You don't have any money. You're struggling. You get stressed. All this thing coming full circle. And you don't know what to do. And then your kids, following you, following your patterns, comes up in the same situation. And now we have a whole community of people that are struggling financially. And if no one teaches you, you really, unless you get out yourself and research and learn it, you're never going to get it. And we're going to be in trouble, and in more trouble, and more trouble. So I'm saying this. We need to, even in communities, if we have a community that's up on our finances, we understand our budgets, we get people jobs, they understand their budgets, we have more people making money so that we can buy more cars, in the community, this is economic development. I went into economic development, just so you know. <laughs> um, but if we have people that have that money in this community, instead of sending it to all these other places across the country for interest rates and things like that, and for interest, if we spent that money here, if we educate our people in financial awareness, financial literacy, then we can stimulate our economies by buying more vehicles, and we have dealers here, we can build more homes in our areas. We can shop more. We can shop with our small businesses because that's what really make a business or a community work when you have small businesses that are thriving. So my biggest thing, and I'm working on this, I will talk to the insurance commissioner and different people, that we need to do something more on financial awareness and financial literacy throughout the state of Georgia. And I think somebody's listening because there's some projects getting ready to happen. Very good. Super.